Hey there guys, what's going on? So, we have a little bit of a debacle on our hands here at uh, This Dog Ate My Vlogs this week. Um, we actually have a new record, a new uh, distinction, if you will. Now, over the last couple of years, while I've been working on various videos, reviews, unboxing installments, as in my previous video, go check it out, of course. Um, you know, I'm, I'm always working, and occasionally, mostly when it comes to my reviews, um, I've found that I've gotten into little copyright run-ins in the past. Now, they're usually pretty minor for one reason or another. Never really known to me, but they'll appear and they'll say, well, your video is blocked in such and such a country, Germany. Uh, I, usually I've only seen Germany, uh, come to think of it. And it's never, never really been a problem. It's just always been one of those things in the back of my mind that's like, uh, huh, well, how about that? Um, today... As I was up this morning to uh, to get tickets to see the National uh, coming up in May, as I talked about a couple of videos ago, by all means go watch that, not a lot of people have, um, I went to, to look on my YouTube page. I usually will uh, look when I get up in the mornings to see where my, uh, where my views are at, uh, how videos are doing and how things are coming along. Uh, what you know the next plan of attack is for new uploads stuff that I'm gonna be doing and presenting here to to all of you guys of course and uh, Today was very interesting because a certain video was missing now I've brought this laptop here of mine along as a uh, as a handy guide and uh, Helping aid here as we go along and I talk a little bit more about this situation now for those of you who've watched my channel this week or have been paying close attention, you might have noticed the Adams for Peace Digital Leak Review of a Muck is here, is the name of the video, and it looked a little bit like this, with me in my scruffy face, as usual, presenting you a review of the new, now released this week, um, Adams for Peace album, a Muck. Now, I didn't find this video today because a copyright claim was submitted uh, by the uh, Beggars Group, which is uh, funny in its own right, if you want to take down <laughs> the name Beggars Group uh, for what they did here. But it took a couple of days, too, which makes me think somebody individually may have caught it. No one immediately swooped down and caught this thing. They submitted a claim against it. And my new record is that a video I have done and worked very hard on is finally blocked in the United States. So if you want to see this particular video in a region near you, you cannot if you are on this side of the pond. I checked it myself. Uh, the video comes up as blocked. If you look any any like on a site that's not through my YouTube page, it is blocked. It is gone. I can still see it in my uh, in my created folder list, but it's not there for anybody. No one here is going to be able to see this video anymore. It's obviously still available elsewhere because its views are still going up and it may still crest uh, 300 views. Right now it's at 263, which is pretty solid for me. Um, but I have I have a few issues with this and I really wanted to, to talk about this logically and I'm, I'm glad I gave myself time to really think about it. Um, because I probably wasn't quite as logical this morning when I first saw it and I realized what happened. Um, but, you know, the more I thought about it, I cooled off a bit more about what happened with it. And it still makes me angry. And, it, you know, I, I, I say angry in a way that's not, like, full-blown, like, I'm not enraged, but I'm not happy at the same time. I'm not happy that they took this step. Um, I know why they did it. I, I mean... In a sense, I know why they did it, because there was music used, early file usage before the release of this record, which is always a risk. I'm acknowledging the fact that, um, you know, this is, this is a risky enterprise when you choose to put a video together like this, and you always risk that someone is going to come along and say, uh, you know, copyright, I don't like that, you know, we're going to shut that down. And, but I've taken the risk anyway, because, you know, not only do I do this for the love of the music and the love of the artist, 
but I do it for me and I do it because sometimes, you know, I want to get extra views to my channel. I want more people to see it. I want to bring more subscribers in. I want to try to grow and uh, really turn this into something, you know, really excellent. I've worked really hard on it the past few years. Uh, probably the one project I've done that I've worked the hardest on all the time. And, you know, I, I really, it's, it's the one thing that keeps me from wanting to say that, you know, that I, I would, I would quit or go somewhere else with, you know, with my, with my videos. Uh, unfortunately, YouTube does not have a great competitor in that regard. And uh, being the puppet of Google does not help that fact either for a couple of reasons. Um, of course, you know, they're the only game in town. There really is no other video service that's nearly as big as they are. So it's not going to really work to be anywhere else. And it's not like I'm huge, you know, I'm not major. Um, you know, I'm, I'm very small, but I'm working, you know, whenever I can, and I'm always, uh, wanting to get each and every little gain that's possible, and I'm just, you know, trying to do my thing, and I want to keep doing that, you know, I'm not going to be deterred either for the talks of quitting, you know, I'm not going to be deterred, I'm not going to stop making videos, hell, I'm making, this is my second video in one day, I'm not going to stop, and I'm not going to stop doing reviews like I do them, and how I want to choose to do them, but I don't appreciate it either, you know, I... I don't appreciate the fact that um, we're living in a day and age right now where, you know, there you really can't have the freedom to do everything that you want to do uh, in regards to making videos and doing projects on a site like this when there's always something looking over your shoulder and anybody can just say, oh, copyright, 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 copyright. To get back to a what I was hopefully trying to say earlier, I understand on one hand why they did this, because there was music used, but I come to my own defense here, because any music that I use, I have almost never at any point, um, maybe in just a few cases, um, one or two cases, and one was to, to help out a friend who uh, was a, uh, who is a, a burgeoning artist on her own, um, I've never used full tracks of anything. At the most, it's 20 seconds that's audible and maybe 30 or 40 seconds underneath, but it's underneath the bed of my voice. There's never a full song and I, you know, you'd have to be a genius to even pull it apart from my voice. At, at most, you're getting 20 seconds of a song at a time. And then it's gone, and it's my voice, and you can hear a little bit in the background, but it's very low, it's very minimal, so you're not distracted, and you can hear my voice and what I'm talking about. And in that sense, it's like, well, okay, well, it's your copyright, and I understand that, and I respect it. Um, maybe not respecting it all the way by doing this, but um, I respect and love it enough to incorporate it into something that I do, that I take a lot of pleasure in, and a lot of pride in, and I don't appreciate the fact that, you know, I don't appreciate the fact that it can just be stricken away like this when, you know, maybe they're not cool with that. But honestly, what is it doing that hurts you? What is it doing that's bad for you? I'm not giving away your music uh, by your artist through your label. I'm not giving it away. I'm not saying, here it is, go download it on some particular site for free so you can take the bread out of so-and-so's mouth. I highlight it. It's there in brief. I promote it. I talked up Adams for Peace and Amok in the highest of terms. I gave it a glowing review of a 9.1 and I said everything nice in the world about it. And the only thing that they stand to lose is nothing. All they do is stand to gain because all I seek to do is to put out videos to put out for other people so that they can see new music, things they may not have experienced, stuff that they maybe knew about already and can come and talk about, things that can attract them and turn them onto something new and maybe has them say, I'm going to go buy this on iTunes or I'm going to go buy the vinyl because I do vinyl unboxings all the time. All I do is promote things. Rarely do I give a negative review or a less than stellar review, um, often because, you know, I know what I like and I know what appeals to me and I like bringing in those certain things that really sound great to me and those things that are going to 
you know, keep luring me back in and I'm, I either surprise myself or kind of go on the road that I go on with folk music and uh, stripped down stuff or indie rock, alternative. Uh, and then sometimes I step out of the box, like with electronic, uh, more experimental stuff, like with Adams for Peace. And I'm, in, you know, I enjoy being able to bring that to all of you. And, you know, while I, te I technically see where the problem lies, I don't agree with the fact that you can just say copyright, 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 and then YouTube can just go, okay, well, you're done. You're blocked in this country. You're blocked. That's it. You know, what have I done that was so horrible other than just promote what your artist, what one of your artists has done? This does nothing but benefit you, yet you decide to turn it around on me and say that I've done something wrong. Now, the reason I brought this laptop out as a handy aid here, and hold on just for a second, I'm going to check the battery on the camera. Good, the camera is excellent. We're at two bars. I don't want anything to happen like in one of my recent videos because this video is very important to me today. The reason I brought this out uh, to, to show you a few other things was because Obviously, I am not really impressed with uh, with Beggar's Group right now. What they chose to do and the copyright that is out there um, that they chose to, you know, say that this was bad and, you know, and to get me blocked. I don't, I don't appreciate them for that, but I also have to make um, a very, very hearty accusation um, towards, uh, towards YouTube as well, if anything in this situation they're worse maybe I think they're they're even uh, they're even worse than uh, than what beggars did because of one particular reason and I will uh, attempt to show you this right now um, right here we have again the video that is has currently blocked and you have this little notice here with the orange triangle saying video blocked in some countries. Now you click on this and it's very interesting because when I initially came across this particular uh, problem today and I was trying to get everything sorted out, I went through and I see a thing here. Your video may include music that is owned by a third party. Your video is blocked in some countries. Here are the details. Adams for Peace, a mock sound recording administered by beggars. To learn more about how claims impact your videos, click here, blah, blah, blah. You have an option to either acknowledge it or dispute it. Now, of course, I don't want to acknowledge it because I don't know what the consequence of that is. Maybe it just goes away. Maybe they wipe the video. Maybe they take it down. Who knows what it is. But because of what I just talked about, this is why I feel that despite the fact that I know there is the technicality of what I put in here, why they did that, why I feel that I'm justified anyway, I didn't give away anything that shouldn't have been given away, all I did was promote it. So I dispute, because I'm thinking initially that if, you know, if there's a YouTube dispute or some, you know, there's a thing, well, YouTube's not going to side with me in the first place. I'm a tiny little outlet. You know, I'm not one of their, uh, you know, AdSense darlings or one of these, you know, big time YouTubers. They're not going to care about me for one iota of a millisecond. But I thought I'm going to try anyway. And they, they give you this questions list of what you want to submit or continue with. And I'm thinking, well, okay, you can just say this. It'll be like a general form you can send in and someone will review it and tell you no and you're still blocked. <laughs> But, okay, so we have, I own the CD, DVD, or bought the song online. I'm not selling the video or making any money from it. I gave credit in the video. The video is my original content. I own the rights to it. Obviously, I don't. I have a license or written permission from the proper rights holder to use this material. My use of the content meets the legal requirement for fair use or fair dealing under applicable copyright laws. The content is in the public domain or is not eligible for copyright protection. Now, a lot of these really don't apply. Maybe I gave credit in the video. Um... But I thought, you know, sort of the most applicable was I'm not selling the video or making any money off of it whatsoever. All I'm doing is promoting other people, which is what I love to do and why I have this channel. This is not me attempting to make any money. I haven't made a cent since I started this channel back in, in early 2010. And, you know, especially after it became a music channel. I haven't made a single cent. Anyway, you had continued thinking that maybe you'll get a general... Uh, like an admission form, something like that. No. 
And this right here is the problem that I have with YouTube and how they choose to handle it, especially now in the last what few years that it's been since they're now owned by Google. They don't give you a general admission form. They don't give you anything like that. No, no, they give you a mini lecture. That's right, the little parental mother, father-in-law little lecture of, I believe this copyright claim is not valid because I'm not selling the video or making any money from it. Whether or not you benefit financially from using the content doesn't matter. Unless you have permission from the owner, it's not yours to use. Well, YouTube, there are a few things I could tell you, but they're not appropriate for this video. Needless to say, I don't care. I really don't care what they think or what beggars group thinks or what they want to try to do to me. I'm going to keep making videos the way that I've always made them and the way that I will always do them. I was in their AdSense program for a time and again, hold on, I'm going to check the camera here because this rant is very important and we need to make sure all of it gets in there. It's still, go it's still very good. I was in their AdSense program for a time around the time that one of my first couple, one, my, either my first video or the first couple really started to get some attention. Uh, it probably got over a thousand views or close to it. It was like, it was a really big deal, really big time for that. And like when you get your first video that really does something and makes an impact, they will usually offer you the option to monetize it or something like that. And there's something, there's an interesting component to that. But I have a lot of problems with the AdSense program as well. It's, you know, you put ads on your videos, it requires people to have to click on the ads. You're basically moving a gigantic stone up the side of a mountain. The opportunity to profit, if you're not huge, is is minuscule. It's tiny, unless you want to start calling for people to click on ads and do things like that. And at that point, it's pretty much the point where you can admit that you've sold your soul out and you've, sell, you've sold out to basically get hits to try to just collect a few coins, which I was never wanting to do or to be a part of. And another reason that being in the AdSense program was terrible was because the way that I've done videos for so long, anybody who's watched my channel, who's watched even one review, who's watched all of them, who's watched any number of them has seen, you know how I do it, how it works in pieces with introductions, with backstory, with review, with closing. And there are video, or there's little, you know, you put the cover and you have the backing music for 20 seconds and it strings it along and strings it through with different songs and then the songs kind of lay in the bed underneath my voice. And with the AdSense program, you can't do that because it's such a finely laced copyright procedure. And I can understand it because it is, very, it is a very official program for them and, you know, you have to be very careful of how you handle things legally and all that stuff but it took it really took the heart and soul out of the video making process and how I chose to do it because it didn't sound right with generic uh, movie maker music it didn't sound right with anything other than what I was talking about because it's such a relevant process to put that music in there and how it flows and how you feel it and what is the next piece of music that's going to logically continue this uh, this path of thought that you're on by making this review. And when it came right down to it, in the end, you know, I, I think even someone had made a comment at some point about uh, me changing my videos and why they suddenly became different. And it was in that point, you know, after going on for a time, that I realized it really wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it to sell out to try to get money that was never going to come my way in like any reasonable period of time it was going to take ages and ages and ages to even get a little tiny scratch of profit so eventually you know I got kicked out of it and I was I was happier I didn't want to do it anymore and I'm glad that I don't do it and I feel that the reason I mention that is because I feel that a lot of YouTube's programs are very flawed uh, excuse the dogs barking right now, they would choose my recording time to do this. Um, you know, I feel that YouTube's programs are very flawed at the heart of it, and I feel like focusing more on the copywriters and the fact that every little copyright claim can just be, you know, thrown out there and then your, your content creators get immediately slapped, especially your smaller content creators who are not in favor with anyone get slapped, and, uh, you know, your 
you're out of commission and then the nice video that you did that's getting some hits is suddenly blocked and not available in your own home country and it's not available for other people to see and to to gain you know and I'm not gaining anything off of this again you know I say okay I put a little bit of music in it I put little excerpts of music in it sure fine whatever you want to call that I gain nothing from this I you know I don't give anything to anyone else the only thing I try to give back to is the artists that I appreciate the artists that I review and in turn through them if I've even led one person to buy one digital download one vinyl one album you know, all that's ever done is to give back. The important thing here is that the artist benefits. I don't care about the distributors. I don't care about the labels. I don't care about any of that. I love the artist. I love the musician. I love what men and women are doing every day and the sounds that they're creating and the new wonderful music that is just constantly being generated and revolutionizing things and inspiring and changing the world and filling people up with with love or comfort or just wonderful feelings and emotions because it does that for me and that's what made me do this in the first place and why I always seek to promote and you know to either help these artists or spread the word you know I've done a couple of lower of features on smaller artists uh, you know Jessica Allen the difference engine uh, who of course uh, follow me here on YouTube they are awesome artists and bands etc etc um, and I'm always wanting to to help people out because the artist is what matters to me and if the artist gets paid for the good things that they do that's what's important and I'm not seeking to get anything off of it. I'd love to be paid by some entity that could tell me to do these reviews and say promote so and so and we'll give you such and such. I'd love to have that but as the case may be and the fact that I'm not really huge right now and I may never be it's an acknowledgement that I'm gonna do it anyway because I do it for the passion of what I do and not for money not for my own gain other than in views and subscribers, silly little YouTube things. And I'm never going to go past the bonds of that to give away something or, you know, do something that's not, you know, illegal. I'm not going to do anything like hugely foolish like that. You know, I'm just, I'm in it to promote and to... Uh, you know, to get my own channel out there, to get more people to follow, to talk to, you know, more wonderful musicians and musically minded people. And that's all I've ever sought to do from this little corner of my neck of the woods here is to kind of reach out to, to other people who have that like-minded mentality. And, you know, I'm not gonna, it's not gonna stop me. I'm gonna lead back to that again. You know, what if there's another early release coming up, another opportunity to, to gain, to listen to more great music, to put it out there and say, I think this is excellent, I think this is interesting, I think maybe, okay, this maybe isn't so interesting, blah, blah, blah. I am going to keep doing that because it benefits me, it benefits the people who watch me, and the continued people who come along to watch me, and it gives back, and it promotes... Uh, good artists, it promotes interesting sounds and musicians and everything, and Beggar's Group is not going to stop me, YouTube is not going to stop me, I mean, if they could stop me if, if things got that severe, I don't think it will, but I don't appreciate either of the actions of the two of them, and, you know, like I said, there's a lot of things I could say that wouldn't, that wouldn't be appropriate in a video, um, but that was more of this morning me than right now me. And I would just like to to move forward and uh, hopefully whoever can still see this video, wherever you're located, that keeps bringing the views up little by little, keep watching it, keep enjoying it. Um, you know, it took its time and effort and enjoyment on my part that um, will always be worth it, even if uh, people put out silly copyright claims against things that only benefit them. But that is pretty much it for this uh this lengthy rant that I had to go on, I had to really talk about that and why that video is no longer there. I really couldn't let that stand without talking about that and um, how I feel like that's a really bogus thing to do at the end of the day and how you're basically shooting yourself in the foot 
and then YouTube is being a horrible provider by basically giving you nothing but an absolute lecture. You feel like you're not, uh, you know, treated well as a content creator, and you feel like you can just be kind of null and void at the drop of a hat. Anybody says copyright, and everybody scatters. And it's it's crappy on both both of their parts. And uh, you know, I. I, I I don't care for that and it hurts me in a lot of ways because you know I work hard at this and I'm not saying I work as hard as the people who make this stuff or put it together but I still um, I still put in my my fair share of, you know of sweat and blood for this and uh, you know it's it hurts to see it happen but it's not going to stop me from getting to 300 videos. It's not going to stop me from 400 videos. It's not going to stop me from any music thing that comes to mind and anything that makes me want to put up new stuff. And it's, it's nothing, the course will not be changed here at This Dog Game My Vlogs. This may never go anywhere but where it is, but that's fine because it doesn't change the integrity or the vision of what I wanted to do here to start with and what will continually be done now, tomorrow, into the future, however long this runs, I will go and never waver from that again because that is what is important when you do this and when you create something out of your own head that means something to you. You don't deviate and you don't give in to external forces. So whatever YouTube, beggars, group, blah, 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 uh, you're terrible individuals. <laughs> See, there's a little bit of mourning me for you. Um, but your bands are great and I'm going to keep supporting them because I love them and I love those sounds that they make. And in fact, one of Beggar's Group, um, one of the Beggar's Group labels is 4AD, who's, uh, one of their bands is The National and I believe St. Vincent is on there as well. But I'm going to see The National in May, which I just talked about at the beginning of the video, which makes me very happy because I love The National and I love music and none of this nonsense and none of the actions of uh, very ill-sighted people are going to alter that in the slightest. Love music, I love everything. So, you know, that's, that's the vision. And, uh, you know, I hope you'll continue to enjoy everything that I put out and do and subscribe to it and comment to it, whether you love it or hate it. Um, and you'll continue to do that because that's, that's the only thing that really matters. It's, it's all about the music and, uh, I'm glad to, to be here and to be doing this. But, that's about it for this review. I really got to bring it to a close. It was just something that was really, really tickling the back of my mind today and something that I really had to make a statement about and to speak out about why this occurred and why I'm really not happy with it. But, you know, like I said, it's not going to change anything. But until next time, guys, keep your music flowing and your vinyl spinning because that's all that really matters. I'll see you all very, very soon.